So now let's allow the user to sign up with email and password alongside with the sign up form uh, details like username for the end users. So for that purpose when the user click on the sign up button we will call the method which will be by the name validate sign up form. Now let's implement this. First we will check if the username if it is uh, the length of it. We will remove the extra spaces from the name that is using dot trim built in method and then we can ch get the length of it if the length is uh, less than 3 then we will tell to the user that username must be 3 or more characters we will display the error message using the snake bar so for that purpose right click on lib new let's create a new folder by the name methods right click on methods new dot file and we can create a dot file by name associate methods which is kind of reusable methods we will implement here like now for example according to our need we need a snack bar a reusable code for that we will write so we give this file name as associate methods now let's create a class associate methods here we will display a method by the name show snack bar msg means message it will receive two things as parameter the first one will be the message which you want to display using the snack bar widget and the next thing will be the context that is from where we are calling this method that page context we have to pass here so we can give it name as cxt then we say variable snack bar snack bar the content will be text widget and we want to display the message text on it okay the msg and then we want to display that using scaffold messenger not show snack bar and pass the snack bar to it so now anytime when we want to display any message on the user interface make sure to replace this with cxt which means the context so any time when we want to display the any message on the user interface we will call our this method with the help of our associate method instance for example how we can create a right click on lib new create a dot file by the name inside this global we are going to create an instance of our associate method and now with the help of this instance anywhere we want to call this reusable code we can call it anywhere we want that is anywhere we want to display a message on the user interface for example here we want to display so we will say associate method dot show snack bar message you know we have to pass the message so the message you know is name must be at least three or more characters okay and here we have to pass the context of our sign up page because we are calling it from here then after the name we check the user phone that it must be seven or more characters then we check the email validation and then we check the password and then after it 
if everything goes successful then the else part will execute and we will call the method which is sign up user now which is to save the data inside the database first of course we have to authenticate the new user using firebase authentication so using the try catch block we can do that if the code is successful the try block will execute otherwise if any error occurs then we can inside the catch on the firebase auth exception basically we can call that is if any error record during the authentication then it will give us the error and which is related to the firebase auth exception firebase auth exception catch the exception So if there is any exception using the Firebase authentication, first we want to make sure that the user is not signed in. That is, we will we will sign out the user. Okay, we do not want the user to go inside the app if there is any error. So we can simply say Firebase auth dot instance dot sign out, and then after it we display the snack bar. That is a message and it will be the exception otherwise if there is no error then simply we will authenticate first the user you can say Firebase user Firebase auth dot instant dot create user with email and password. We have to pass the email and password as a parameter to it the first parameter email we can get from our email text writing controller the next one the next parameter is the password which we can get from the password text writing controller in case if any error occur then we can call dot catch error on error and we will display the error message using the snack bar so this piece of code when executed successfully it will create the user inside the firebase authentication otherwise if there is any error then it will display this error message now once the user is authenticated successfully the next thing is to save the user information to the Fire, firebase database so for that purpose we will create a map to which we will assign all information so we can say user data map so it goes by the combination like here first we say this is the key inside the double quotes we define the key like the name we will save in the database by the key name name and the value we assign here that is the value is inside the, from the controller we can get like this then same goes for the other ones for example like email phone ID which we can get using firebase user dot uid and the block status with a value no so then we save this user data map first we create a reference to our firebase database using firebase database dot instance dot reference dot child so all the user information we will save under the main node users 
under which is user record we can recognize using the user unique UID so we can set our child Firebase user dot UID and then we can say dot set and set the user data map to it and of course if you want you can display a message that account created successfully so we can say account created successfully so this is all about the registration process of a user that is how we can sign up a new user inside the firebase authentication and then save the user information to the firebase database now the moment when the user click on the sign up button and these methods are called that is first validate the sign up form and then that is first when this method is called okay everything goes successful then we call this method when it start executing it took some time you know like to authenticate the user first and then save user information to database so during that time we want to display some loading progress bar so for that purpose let's create a dialog loading dialog right click on lib new we create a separate folder for all our reusable widgets that we will create it will be inside this widgets folder so right click widgets new dot file and we give it name as uh, loading underscore dialog and then we say import material dot dot and we create a statless widget we give it name as loading dialog and what we need here is that this statless widget loading dialog will receive a message text as a parameter that is what we want to display on the loading dialog box uh, on the loading dialog box widget so what we can do is we can say this dot message text which is required here you can say return dialog and the shape will be round rectangle bottle with circular 12 after the shape the background color for this dialog so you can change the background color for the dialog from here we will proceed with the white child container widget margin and apply some width which will be double dot infinity then the decoration box decoration color border radius we will proceed with the white 70 color child padding widget padding from all sides 16 child row widget children widget some space with 5 then we display circular progress indicator which has value color that is the moving around indicator color how you want so you will say always stop animation and the color it will be color start green Then some space and using the text widget we display the message text so this is our loading dialog so come back here to the sign up page and here when the sign up uh, sign up user now method start executing at the start we can say show dialog context will be context of this sign up page and then build context context you will display the loading dialog and the message will be you can say please wait or you can say checking credential
so once it is start displaying then it start executing the code for example if any error occur then the on firebase auth exception catch we are going to disappear this uh, loading dialog okay so we will you can disappear it by using navigator.pop context similarly if the authentication is successful then it's okay otherwise if the firebase authentication is not successful the catch error will execute in that case we also want to disappear the loading dialog and then once the user data is saved to the database then we can we want to make sure that the dialog box the loading bar that is this type dialog box disappear and it display the message account created successfully now before testing the application make sure to initiate the authentication that is create the firebase authentication click on build and click on authentication click on get started and we have to enable the email password here okay authentication with email password and then of course the database then click on build and then click on uh, you have to scroll okay when you scroll here then you will find this real-time database click on the real-time database click on create database click next start in locked mode enable go to the rules and make sure to allow read write by setting it to true click publish now once it is done come back to your project and let's install the app on the phone so the app is running now on the phone and guys one thing uh, I hope you remember I already told you guys to test the application on your real phones and not on the emulators or simulator because in the latest Android Studio versions the emulators show you white screen every time you test the app on the emulator then it starts showing you white screen that is you will not get the screen so please test the application on your real phones so anyways now let's go to the registration so let's say the username is Muhammad Ali then the user phone then of course the email and then the password then click on sign up please wait account created successfully congratulations so according to the code if you go now to the authentication first you see that the user is authenticated then after the authentication we have this data which we save inside the database under the user unique UID under the parent node users so you see this is the user unique ID if you go to the real-time database the parent node users is created under which we have the user unique ID and under which the user information is saved